What's up guys, welcome back to iRacing. This is week six, I think, at Oxford Plains. I don't have a very good setup here. Um, I actually practiced first, but I screwed up my qualifying lap. I should have qualified, or I practiced at a 15.6, so I should have qualified probably around there. The track temp went way up in qualifying, so I was extremely loose. I adjusted for it, so we'll see how the race goes. Um, but uh, I'm using a setup from two weeks ago at Irwindale. And it actually seems to be working pretty good. I had to adjust the rear gearing just a little bit. And that's about it. Everything else seems to be working great. A little loose going in, but uh, that helps the turn a little bit better. And uh, it's a little loose coming out. But you just have to feather the throttle and just not really get on the gas completely after the first couple laps. Anyway, getting ready to go here. Uh, seven entries, so this race will be official. This is the second race. Um, the first one did not go official, but I ended up finishing second in it. Had the fastest car by far, but just could never get around the leader because... Uh, you know, I didn't want to hit him and wreck him to take the spot, so... Anyway, getting ready to go here. Wish me luck. Hopefully it's a, a decent race. And, um... Yeah, hopefully we'll get a, a nice win. Top two, maybe. That'd be nice. We'll start in third gear. Try to avoid the wheel spin. And, uh, here we go. Nice. Trying to push up the track just a hair. I think a car is sliding just a little bit. Might have tightened the car up a bit too much for this track.
By the way, a uh, little shout out to, uh, we're going to call him C because I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. Cy, maybe. Bowen in third place. Seems like he knows who I am, so that's pretty cool. So, figure we'll post this video. That way you can uh, see yourself here. Looks like Scott's got a pretty decent setup here on the long runs. We're hanging with him here, but he is definitely a little faster than we are on the long runs, it looks like. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, he pushed up a little bit there. We're just, uh, front tires are sliding a little bit, and it's kind of hard to to get them to grip up. Tried a little crossover. Well, try to get under him there a little bit, but the car broke loose and wasn't having none of it. do that too much. Trying to get just a little bit loose here coming off. I mean, more than what it already was. It's already pretty loose coming off, but 
I've got to be very careful now. So you can see just getting into the throttle 100% on the straightaways is kicking me sideways. Trying to slow down and kind of cool my tires off a little bit. Felt like I was running too hard. Me and him is pretty much 
run the same exact speed it looks like. Looks like he's running a, a lane or so higher than me. Maybe trying to get a run off the corner. I can't hardly run that lane. I've tried. It's not, uh, it gets too loose when I run that lane. But he's getting a, I'm getting bit, I'm, I'm faster going in, I think, than he is. He's uh, a bit quicker coming off because he's got a straight shot onto the straightaway. Of course, now it looks like he might have switched back to the bottom. Yeah, he's, he's like me. He's searching around for grip. Oh, man, it's loose. Anytime I get on there and spin the rear tires, it just it heats them up so much I can't drive the thing. That's yeah, unfortunate that uh, we're not faster than he is, but he's got a better setup than us, obviously. Or he's a better driver, one of the two. For a minute, I thought it was going to cut down on me. Kind of scared me a little bit. Got about 25 laps to go. I guess we can try to run him down here, but we're not going to be able to run fast, obviously. I mean, I'll have to just take it easy and hope that we can catch him. Right now, it's not looking too good. If he makes a mistake, we'll be right on him. That's the good thing about it.
Oh, we got a pit. All right, we're going to change two tires and just give it a shot and see what happens here. I don't know if that's going to be the best thing to do or not, but... We'll see what happens. We don't have many laps to go, so... We have about 10 laps to go when we start. So we'll give it a shot. I just wanted to get back out in front because I think if I'm out in front, of course he's going to have four new tires, so he's going to be fast, but I can kind of hold the bottom, maybe block him a little bit. Hopefully he don't uh, spin me out. Everybody else is a lap down, so I'm not worried about them. So it's basically strategy. Not to mention there might be another wreck here. Of course, there's only five guys running. That's not likely. But I know we can get a decent jump on the start. That'll help us out a little bit. Is that him beside me? I thought he was a uh, black car. I guess it is. You both felt a good time, man. All right, here we go. Spun the tires. Well, two tires wasn't the way to go. Worth a shot, I guess. You can go ahead, I'm pretty slow. Need another caution. Well, it don't matter now. Race is over. I would like to take on the uh, <laughs> other two tires. I realize now that that was a not a very uh, smart thing to do. But hey, you live and learn. I mean, I didn't know what was going to happen. I, my thought was I take two tires, get out in front, and I can hold him off. But I didn't realize it was going to push quite as bad as it's doing. I mean, it's really pushing bad. So yeah, it is what it is. I know next time not to do that. Not to mention I spun the tires really bad coming off uh, on the start there and about lost it, so. Holy cow! Good win, Scott. What happened there? Thanks, man. I hold out a six car. He 
went off the track in three and four, and he just pulled right, coming back on the track, he just went straight down the track in front of me. Man, if you're going to do that, just please try to keep it high when you come back on. All right, let's see uh, see if there was any replays that we can check out here. I don't know if um, I don't know if we'll find out find too many or not. Uh, okay, play here. Pace car replay. All right, number five car. We got to get our special camera view that we like. Number five car kind of jumped the curb there just a little bit. Number two car looks like he's going to jump the curb right here just a little bit. Probably going to see a lot of those. Number six car. He's, uh, he's wobbling a little bit there. Oh, got into the curb pretty good. Damaged his front end right there. Looks like it actually might have knocked his toe out just a little bit. That's interesting. I know that don't do that next time. Number three car, number six car spinning right there. Oh my goodness, number three, watch out. Oh, so close. Barely, barely missed him there. Caution's out. Here's where, uh, and see, jumping that curb probably didn't help. Good God, that sounded terrible. That probably didn't help either, jumping that curb right there. That might have messed something up too. Um, number six car here. I want to see what happens to six. I feel like I might could have won that race if I could have just got out. I should have took four, man. That was stupid. All right, here comes number six car. He's going to spin around. Oh, he loses it. Loses it, and then he's going to come back on the track right in front of the leader. Yeah, right in front of the leader. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, he's lucky to miss that one. And uh, that was it, and then we got the number two car doing some victory donuts here. So all in all, pretty good race. Um, clean, no incidents, which is what we want. Second place finish, that should gain us a little bit of eye rating. Didn't win, but hey, a top two is good. I'm actually always looking forward to a top three or a top five, depending on how many people were in it. Let's go check out... Uh, all right, so I think this race had a pretty low I rating. It looks like um, 1477, not great. Uh, Scott Bell did win uh, with a with 82 laps led. I led eight laps myself. Just uh, once he got around me, I couldn't get back around him. Ran pretty much the same exact speed the whole entire time. I actually ran the fastest lap here. Um, but uh, his fastest lap time was actually lap 80. You know, he said he was pushing after the race, but it uh, looks like he was... Looks like his fastest lap was right off the caution there, but we did score .14 in safety rating and plus 10 in I rating, and um, yeah, that's awesome. So uh, all in all, pretty good race. I really thought that once that caution came out, if I took two tires, I felt like if I got back in front of him there, that I could hold him off with 10 laps to go. But I didn't, I didn't anticipate on how bad the car was going to push. I knew it was going to be loose, but I didn't know how it was going to push, and really. You know, looking back on it now, I, I really should have took four because me and him were the only cars on the lead lap. So even if I had only took two, I was going to be so much slower than him. He, would, he could have easily probably passed me on the outside anyway. So it was really a dumb move to only take uh, take right sides like that. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, you kind of do you do what you think you need to do to win. And um, I had a shot at getting back out in the lead and maybe holding that. You know, or uh, the worst I could do was finish second, and we ended up finishing second, unfortunately. But next time I know if the caution comes out after we've got 30 or 40 laps on our tires, um, we definitely got to pit and take four. Uh, so, and I really, you know, taking taking four there and then putting the tape up to about 75% probably would have won me the race, maybe, if I could have got around them. Uh, there again, you know, Oxford's a hard track to pass on anyway, uh, especially without bumping somebody. So, but um, good race. Overall, I think uh, I'm always happy when I gain I rating, so and always happy when I get, get away with no incidents. Anyway, we're going to try to race the next one here at 7:30 tonight. This is the 3:30 race, and uh, maybe I'll see you guys there. All right. So a big shout out to uh, Cy. I guess that's how you pronounce your name. Maybe you can tell me if you see this on YouTube. Cy Bowen. Um, he is a subscriber to the channel. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, do so. If you like the race, leave me a like, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.